you can't understand Esther on its own. All the exegetical work in the world will not mine out the truth of Esther because it's not there. There's no internal motivation revealed. There's no commentary. There's no point made. It's just a story and a godless story of that. Esther is like the events of your life. There are so many events and circumstances and days and seasons and years that you simply will not be able to understand on its own. To understand Esther, we have to step back and read Esther in light of the entire biblical canon. Because the good news of Esther, that Esther couldn't see, that is without Esther, there is no good news. Unless God did an extraordinary work through ordinary circumstances and broken people, the Jews would not have survived, the seed of David would not have been preserved, and King Jesus would have never showed up. And the banner that the book of Esther waves is that in the hour of God's seemingly conspicuous absence, He is powerfully and profoundly present. In a story that never once mentions God, the people of God find themselves exiled in a strange land under the rule of a foreign king. With their enemies plotting to destroy them, all hope appears to be absent but one very unlikely character is raised to a position of remarkable power because even when we can't see him, he's working. 